24 hours ago, Grandview Heights police say there was no reason to believe students were in danger after a threat was posted online. Today, police say new information has them concerned for the safety of specific students. NBC 4's Dan Perlman is live in Grandview with details and reaction from parents tonight. Dan? Well, here at Grandview Heights High School, several students just wrapped up a performance of their fall play, so it's proof that it's more or less business as usual here at the school. But this possible threat has a lot of people talking, and not just here on school grounds. Uh, yeah, we had a little incident over here. On Quiet Burr Avenue, the police have come and gone their time here 24 hours ago, unsettling. For the children in the neighborhood, absolutely. But now it's an incident, part of an ongoing investigation. Officers say they were looking into a post threatening a school shooting on a Grandview Heights High School sophomore's social media page. Police said last night they didn't believe there was a credible threat, but today it's a different story. Officers now say this young man made specific threats toward specific students at the high school. Naturally, this is concerning. We've heard six, seven different things going on. But at the same time, it has Krista Joseph here confident it will be handled and it won't distract from a great year already filled with great success. Our football team is going to playoffs. We have the fall play tonight. These kids are working very, very hard, putting a lot of effort into it. Our soccer team, girls soccer team, boys soccer team, they all went to playoffs. So a lot of positive things are going on here in the community. Um, so I, I just hate that this is putting a, a bad light to it. Krista and Dave tell me the district has kept them in the loop as this situation evolves. Uh, they've been communicating with all the parents all day long. They both just want that one message, letting them know it's taken care of and no more possible threats exist. And again, no arrests quite yet in this case, but police say charges may be coming very soon. We're live in Grandview Heights, Dan Perlman, NBC4.